And for the first time in nearly 50 years, dock workers, they are striking and it's happening at more than a dozen ports along both the east and the Gulf Coast. Striking workers are demanding better contracts. They want higher wages. They want protections from automation. Union members say a robot workforce hurts not just their livelihoods, but the entire economy. Machines don't buy cars. Machines don't buy houses. Machines don't take vacations. They don't take their, they don't, they don't go out to restaurants. You know, so you need people working. The group representing shippers and ports say it has offered a nearly 50% pay raise over six years' time, but the union says it's not enough. So let's tell you where things are right now. Dock workers at those ports started walking the picket lines today. Tens of thousands of members of the International Longshoremen's Association, they went on strike after their contract agreement ended at midnight. Megan Hardnett, she looked into what this means for us here in this region and kind of the ripple effects it could have. So Megan, what'd you find out? Jeff, the strike isn't currently having any impact on the ports here, but it all depends on how long it goes. If it goes for a certain amount of time, there could be impacts to manufacturing as well as what we see in the store. Dock workers at over a dozen ports from Maine to Texas are on strike. The union wants a 77% pay raise over six years. They also want certain reassurances that uh, technology and automation will be used to improve the efficiency of the ports and potentially take their jobs. Short term, people shouldn't see any impact at the store, according to William Sawaya, a BGSU associate professor of supply chain management. This is something that was planned in advance, and so companies could buy ahead. So very few companies um, will run out of anything in the short term because they should have stocked up. There might be exceptions, though. Maybe they did try to stock up and it didn't come in in time. There may be some issues getting some fresh produce in stores because they are transported right before going onto the shelves. Only 40% of containerized goods come through the East Coast and Gulf ports, which means a lot of it comes in other ways um, from California, and companies can also ship through Canada or Mexico. So Waya says short term, there should not be any price increases at the store, but if this strike lasts for weeks or even months, prices could start to climb. He says businesses and manufacturers will likely feel the impacts of the strike first, and then it could trickle down to consumers. As people begin to start holiday shopping, Sawaya says it's hard to know what impact the strike will have. My suspicion is that many of the goods that people might be looking to purchase over the holidays are already in warehouses and already en route, but I would also guess that not all of it has been received yet. So Aya says as of right now, people or really in general, people should not feel the need to go out and stock up on items or panic buy. He says this is all dependent on how long the strike goes. But as of right now, the local impact should be minimal. Reporting in Toledo, Megan Hartnett, WTOL 11.